Hello scientists and welcome to this video on the classification of matter. Before you continue watching this video, you need to have a copy of the notes from class that say classification of matter and you need something to write with. It will also be helpful if you have a copy of the periodic table. Okay, let's go. So what is matter? We're going to talk about matter a lot. Chemistry is the study of matter. Matter is anything that has mass. It also has volume, which means it takes up space. So anything that has mass and takes up space is matter. Everything in the universe is either matter or energy. So if you're trying to figure out if something is matter, uh, it might help to think about whether or not that thing could be energy instead, like light or sound uh, or something like that. And we can split matter into different types. So matter can be split into two big categories, pure substances and mixtures. And then each of those can be split as well into two more. So pure substances can be an element or a compound and mixtures can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous. And I'm going to go into those in more detail. Uh, we're going to be talking about what these look like um, when we see them with our eyes, but also at the particle level. Okay. So, um, come back this this diagrams on your notes and you're going to want to come back to it to see what um, the different particles of the different types of matter look like okay we're going to start with pure substances you'll know something is a pure substance if it's only made of one type of particle uh, and that particle can be an atom or a molecule in a pure substance and i'm going to go into what the differences are in just a minute Pure substances can't be separated by physical means. You can only separate them with chemical reactions. So this just means there's nothing you can do to like pull something apart. We'll talk a little bit more about physical and chemical reactions soon. But for now, just know that pure substances are held together quite strongly. And in order to break them apart, there needs to be a chemical reaction. Uh, and pure substances can be either elements or compounds. Elements are made of one type of atom. So you learned about atoms last year. They can look like this diagram here, where you have your protons and neutrons in the nucleus in the center, surrounded by electron shells. Um, sometimes it's drawn like this, where the electron shells are more like overlapping ovals rather than circles. But either way, that's an atom. It's just like one unit of an element and all of the atoms in an element will look exactly the same and have exactly the same number of electrons, protons, and neutrons. You can find elements on the periodic table. So you should have a copy of the periodic table that you got in class. Um, all of the elements are listed on there. If it's not in the periodic table, it isn't an element. So some examples are sodium which is this very soft metal up in the left corner. That's sodium. Um, down here is sulfur. So this is a picture from Stanley Park looking into North Van. Uh, and you might see these big piles. That is um, all sulfur. Uh, magnesium for is an example, or uh, gold and silver, which are pictured here. These are all elements and you'll find them all on the periodic table. So here's uh, a colorful copy of the periodic table that you're wanting class on the back has an alphabetical list. So these are two things you can look at to find out if something is an element. Uh, compounds are made of two or more elements. Atoms are joined together in compounds to make molecules. And these molecules can look like um, this, where they're a, like a, a box. Um, this is called a lattice structure, where it has atoms joined together um, over and over in a structure. Or it can be something like this water molecule, where um, you have two hydrogens bonded to uh, an oxygen. So our examples are sodium chloride, which is here, that's salt. So think about that soft metal you saw in the previous slide. That, when it's joined to chlorine, looks much, much different. And if you zoomed in on one of these little crystals, it you would see that there's sodium and chlorine uh, elements or atoms 
alternating to form this little structure, this box. And then water is also a compound. It's two hydrogens bonded to an oxygen, H2O. Okay, so for mixtures, mixtures contain two or more types of particles. And these can be separated by physical means. So we can um, do things like pull these apart. Um, we can evaporate uh, the liquid out of something to get something that's left behind. Those are all physical ways of separating. And there's two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. And I'm going to go through each of those right now. So first we have homogeneous mixtures. So in a homogeneous mixture, the different parts are blended together so that it all looks the same. You can't see the different parts of a homogeneous mixture. Uh, and the way I remember this is that homo means same, the prefix homo. So you've probably heard um, this in the context of sexuality. So someone who's homosexual uh, gets into relationships with people of the same gender as themselves. So homo means same. Homogeneous mixture means it looks the same all the way through the mixture. So some examples are milk, uh, juice, uh, soap or shampoo, air, steel. So um, here's air, which is an interesting mixture because um, we can't, like air doesn't look like anything to us, right? But um, if you could look at the particles that are in air, you would see that you have um, elements like oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, chlorine and fluorine, but you also have some molecules. So things like uh, carbon dioxide, CO2 or ozone or water. Um, there's lots of different types of um, gases that go into air, but we can't see different pieces of the air. So that's one example. Um, milk or juice are your liquids that look the same all the way through. So you can't see any differences in the milk, but milk is made of things like um, sugars and fats and proteins. Um, there might be like calcium and vitamin D in there. Uh, and it's a lot of water as well, but you can't see those. Uh, something like soap or shampoo I included because you can turn your bottle of shampoo and look at the back and look at the ingredients list and see that it's made of tons of different things, but you usually can't see the different pieces. And then steel uh, is what's called an alloy. Uh, so it's different elements together to make a metal. So uh, steel is mostly iron and then a little bit carbon, but you can't see those different pieces. So it's homogeneous. The other type of mixtures are called heterogeneous mixtures. So heterogeneous mixtures means you can see the different parts of the mixture. So the different things that make up the mixture are visible. Um, hetero, the prefix means other or different. So just like with homo, the way I remember this is to think heterosexual means someone who prefers uh, relationships with people of uh, a different gender than themselves. So hetero means different or other. Uh, so for example, uh, cookies, you can see the chocolate chips in this cookie. Something like soil, if you look closely, you can see that it has little rocks in there, parts of decaying wood or plant. Um, it might have clay, it might have gravel, it might have plants growing in it. Uh, something like a snack mix. So this is one of my favorites, Bombay mix. Um, cereal when you put milk into it or pizza. I just realized there's quite a lot of food examples in there, but um, you can see the different parts of all of these substances, which is what makes them heterogeneous. What I'm going to get you to do now is pause the video and on your notes, there's a spot for you to practice. So I want you to look pause and look at these substances and write if you th what which of the four uh, types of matter they are. So element, compound, homogeneous, or heterogeneous mixture. So pause right now, come back when you're done. Okay, I'm assuming you paused and unpaused. I hope you did. So here are the answers. Sorry that my head is cutting this one off. This is heterogeneous mixture. So have a look at your answers. If you're finding any of them confusing, you can ask me in class and I would be happy to go over it with you. Thanks, see you in class.